Hi, Susan here. Uh, still tromping around the sand hills on this very hot day. If I hadn't mentioned, it's hot out here. You probably hear my dog panting over there. He's hot too. But I want to talk about uh, oaks. Oaks in the sand hills. This is myrtle oak. Quercus myrtifolia. Um, you guys are probably more familiar with this oak in scrub habitats. But here it is in a sand hill in North Florida where it often, often where it also um, occurs at least in very, very xeric conditions. And it's an evergreen oak, so it doesn't drop its leaves, unlike some of the other oaks right now. And uh, it really has what they call a spatulate leaf. So I guess it's kind of shaped like a spatula a little bit. It's shiny. And I guess it's tardily deciduous, so when the new leaves come out, the old leaves fall off and you can see them down there on the ground. So, myrtle oak. It usually doesn't get very big, so you see it's just a little shrub here, right there. Bunch of it. And then right here, this is a turkey oak. And probably so named because of its leaf is reminiscent of a turkey foot, I guess. Somebody thought that. Here it is. Yep. It is a deciduous oak, so it dropped its leaves um, probably last year. And these are new leaves just coming on. So they're nice and fresh and green. And I don't know if you can see it, but these leaves will actually turn like a solar panel, like my hand's doing. So when it gets really hot and dry and it's trying to conserve water, it'll rotate its leaves perpendicular with the ground. So pretty cool adaptation there, turkey oak. Uh, 